My name is Henrik, I'm CTO at Onomondo, and in this video I'm going to talk about the Onomondo SoftSim and what that means to make IoT more seamless, more future-proof and easier to deploy. What we really want to do is making features within the network that really accommodate IoT projects. Whether that being debugging or developing hardware, if it's insights or making coverage better, or if it's streamlining manufacturing line or making the commercial model fit better, um, that's what we're about with Onomondo. We use connectivity as a foundation, but we build a lot of features into the network and around it to really fit into what is made for IoT. So, I mean, the options for SIM cards today uh, is, is quite big. There are a lot of different op options, and I think that's one of the things that are confusing in this industry. We go all the way back, I think, to the 80s, where we sort of had the 1FF, that's the big SIM card you know, and, and just talking into abbreviations, there's the 1FF, 2FF, 3FF, 4FF. That's the micro, nano, mini, and all the SIM cards you know from your phone today. And now we have sort of the upcoming new ones, being the embedded SIM, the MFF2, and even smaller ones, the MFF XS. Um, and at the very latest, we have the iSIM, which is sort of an integrated, still a physical aspect, but, but a physical form factor, but still a SIM. Um, so there are a vast majority of, of different job options um, to choose from. I'm old enough to remember the cassette, the cassette player. Uh, then we had the floppy disk, then the CD-ROM came, we had the mini disk. All of them were different form factors for providing an application or music. Um, and I think to some extent we have that, we have the similar thing uh, going on in the sim industry. And that's where also the soft sim, that's where we want to take the soft sim um, we want to be sort of the final frontier within Sim, saying, okay, now it's pure software. Uh, similar to what Spotify did for the music industry. Again, all the different form factors of music, but then Spotify came and made it all software. The Onomando Soft Sim is just a Sim without any hardware. You can enable it through a single line of code, and then you have connectivity. The difference between Onomondo SoftSim and an eSIM is that the Onomondo SoftSim is pure software. And one needs to have in mind that the eSIM is still today running on some physical hardware. So even though you hear a lot about eSIMs within smartphones and you as a consumer can download an eSIM, the smartphone manufacturer still needs to have the embedded SIM chip soldered onto the device. And what we are targeting is, you can say, the smartphone manufacturers or in our case, sort of people doing IoT devices. Here we don't come with the embedded SIM chip running our software, we give the software and then you can place it on whatever microcontroller there is. There are three main benefits with the Onomondo soft SIM. There's cost reduction, there's savings on power budget, and then there's just the capability of making IoT devices smaller. The Onomondo Soft SIM is 100% GSMA compliant. And remember that the Soft SIM is just an application, but then we also have the file storage which contains sensitive keys. That's the credentials for the network. Here we want to leverage what's already within the IoT devices, either in the modem or on a separate microcontroller, which is the TPM or the Trusted Platform Modules. That can be in the form of an ARM Trust Zone or some, some other secure enclave. And this is where we store the sensitive keys. So we uphold the security and everything that goes into that, being authentications towards the network, but still in the simple manner of saying the application itself can run anywhere. I and, and the whole Onomondo team are quite excited to get the Onomondo SoftSim out. We can't wait to see what's being built upon this. We already have a lot of projects going on, which is really exciting. And I think being able to open up the freedom to customers and let the creativity spark, that, that's going to be really, really interesting. So, uh, so reach out. Uh, if you want to talk to us about the soft sim or anything else, and then we are happy to uh, to take that conversation.